Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a quick video on our Flyers, bringing in two players who seem to fit fine systematically with John Tortorella. They're just not going to wow you at all, which is bringing back Justin Braun to most likely play with Cam York on the third line. One would think, and he has familiarity there. And also bringing in Nick Deloriers, who played with the Ducks, and then, of course, <clears throat> uh, finished out last season with the Minnesota Wild. Now, he's a good body checker, good shot blocker, solid in the defensive zone, more just good at hitting guys off the puck, being that physical presence of a fourth liner that's going to be able to basically be your lefty version of Zach McEwen um, down there. He's a bigger guy at, at, at 6'1", I think it is 6'2", he's 220. So he's going to knock guys off the puck. He's going to bring more of that jam to the Flyers that a lot of the fan base wanted. So now having McEwen back and having Deloriers is definitely going to bring more spunk to your team to not have guys mess with that mess with you as much on the ice, Jesus. Um, as those two guys are really going to help with that, and I think structure wise it works. These two signings more just fit into the C C plus category for me because they're good fill out your roster signings. But they're nothing to the effect of what Chuck Fletcher led on he was going to do. So we would hope these are the beginning of a domino effect of maybe getting one or both of the Stroms or going out and getting one of the remaining solid defensive guys out there that can be in maybe for a one-year contract that you're able to bring a veteran defenseman in that obviously Edler already got signed, but somebody that kind of fits into that spectrum of players or you trade for a guy that has one more year left if you're able to do that, just to bring in more help there. But I think the biggest thing the Flyers are probably going to look at towards now as they get Delorier as a winger and they're able to bring back Braun to play third line defense is probably center. I would think they'll be looking more steady down the middle, and that's why Dylan or Ryan Strom kind of pop off the page for me. I would look out. I don't think either of those two got um, signed up yet, and I saw Trocek already went, obviously, and Eric Halla already got traded. So they lost a couple options, and obviously Kirby Doc already got moved as well, but I don't think the Flyers were in on him anyway. But I think when it comes to centers, the two Stroms could be a big name to look out for. I would put these two signings, because the Lauriers would have made more sense if you gave him like a two-year deal to become in and be a good enforcer, body checker, shot blocker, a guy that's basically a proven version of McEwen where he does more through and through on the ice to stay in the lineup, and that's why he's been a fan favorite. He's been a guy that's played over 40 games to 55 games in a season where McEwen plays a little bit lesser because of his more inconsistencies. I think he's a good guy to be able to make Zach McEwen more consistent as well. So I think he fits roster structure-wise. It's just four years. That's why that kind of knocks that into the C category. That's a that's a wonder bunny thing for me. But at the same time, the value contract value is fine. And Justin Braun, they didn't bring in the contract value yet. That hasn't come out yet, but it's a one-year deal. So I'm fine with that. Um not the flyer that other people wanted coming back, but I don't think Justin Braun was a bad player. I know Steele's not going to like this move. Um, but I think it makes sense roster structure-wise. It's just neither of these moves are sexy moves. Fletcher, I thought at least, would spread the wealth if he wasn't able to. Being on the Goudreau sweepstakes, you would get a Strom. You would go out and get another B free agent um, on the wing, and then you would kind of push it there and push the retooling of the roster there and then maybe even make a trade like if they do decide to try to find some way to get rid of JVR they're able to have more way to do it if they bring in say a Nito Nita rider plus get one of the Stroms but we'll have to see what they decide to do going forward everybody have a great safe and pleasant day please continue to subscribe down below up above on the easy to use widget to keep the channel grown to the next goal of 300 or more